Well, it seems that woke liberal SJW Disney's so-called Star Wars land, known as Galaxy's Edge, is rightfully getting slammed by actual fans of Star Wars for basically just lacking anything and just being, you know, a lazy IP attempt in their park, pretty much, when you think about it. And they're right to make that, that uh, criticism. Because I've seen videos of Galaxy's Edge, it doesn't look anything like Star Wars. It's based in their sequel trilogy, which pretty much most fans hate, you know? And the thing is, too, is that this whole thing just... It, it, it clearly has Kathleen Kennedy's fingerprints all over it. You know, it has it has her written all over it. If you don't know, she's the um, guy. She's not guy. Well, she she definitely hates uh, guys for sure. But she's the individual who runs Lucasfilm, and she clearly hates white men. It's been made obvious. But this has her fingerprints all over it. This disaster, uh, known as Galaxy's Edge, and it's seen right through by the fans. This is on uh, Inside the Magic says fans slam latest disney plans say there's no magic yeah they're absolutely right you know galaxy's edge again nobody likes the sequel trilogy except for you know a few either shills or just you know people who did genuinely enjoy it but the, the that they're not they're um they're not the uh majority i put it that way but it says the disney parks have been announcing major changes to their stateside parks over the last few years in the recent, the most recent addition to both Disneyland and Walt Disney World is Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, which is an area themed around the world, world of Star Wars, featuring two rides and several shopping and dining experiences. However, both parks have focused heavily on retaining areas to feature one specific IP or intellectual property. In other words, being lazy. <laughs> uh, this one tweet uh, makes a good point. It says Disney should never have gotten a single IP, IP land. It should have never gotten any more of them. Yeah, good point. Because, you know, they butcher it. I'll put it that way. They ruin it. And fans can see right through it. The focus on IPs, continuing on the article. The focus on IPs has drawn criticism from guests and fans online lately, with people wondering why Disney is relying so heavily on its IP-based media instead of using original ideas the way the parks have been up to up to this point. Users like August Maseas agree. Single land IP sounds interesting at first, but it becomes extremely limited in attraction, ideas, and entertainment in the long run. Galaxy's Edge has this problem where it's such, such a nothing land with a really cool dark side. He follows up by saying that he thinks Galaxy's Edge is actually boring with tons of theming but no entertainment or exploration. Well, I, do, I also would add too that, you know, I'm, I'm not even like a fan of Star Wars. I, you know, it was part of my childhood, but. I wouldn't, you know, classify myself as a fan, although I do, you know, I like it for, as being part of my childhood, but essentially it's like, even I can see that this thing totally lacks anything from Star Wars. It just, it's based on their sequel trilogy, which nobody likes. But continuing on the article, uh, several commentators stated that the parks should have stayed with the genre lands, like Adventureland or Tomorrowland, and added IP-based rides to fit into those areas, rather than basing entire sections of the parks around a single franchise. Most, if not all, the major rides and attractions have been announced that have been announced over the last few years based have been based on IPs like Remy's, Ratatouille's, Ratatouille Adventure, Guardians of the Galaxy, Comic, uh, sorry, Cosmic Rewind, and the San Francisco area coming to Disney California Adventure. Although the focus on IP attractions may be an effort to appeal to children, there haven't been many uh, too many original concept-based attractions, and the parks seem to be struggling more for it. Yeah, no kidding. You know. There's a reason why people would say that, you know, that, that special feeling you get there is gone. Because, well, it's just aside from the fact that it's insanely overpriced, they are just coming off as really laziest. Also, not really considering, also when you don't, you know, kind of ignoring the fact that the rides constantly break down all the time as well. Bunch of garbage, but this is what uh, has come, uh, essentially has become a vogue liberal SJW Disney. Sorry about that, just uh, had a bit, bit of a rough night last night. It was a bit up, up a bit too late, so... Uh, my, my bad, but essentially this is what has become a woke liberal SJW Disney. So what's to be expected? They're going to keep failing and they're going to keep losing money until they get to the point of learning why they're losing money. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.